MGF Heavy Duty Tank Braces are simple to assemble, highly versatile, modular hydraulic bracing systems. They are designed to brace sheet pile coffer dams and concrete pile basements. MGF modular bracing strut systems are primarily to be used as struts with hydraulic bracing systems. Both ranges consist of hydraulic rams together with various length extension bars. Installation commences by pre-driving sheets to 6 metres below ground level. Excavate to a maximum of 0.65 metres below ground level. MGF products are normally assembled outside of the excavation on timber skids. However, due to the overall size of this tank brace frame, the individual legs of the frame will have to be made up in parts within the excavation. Using two leg chains, the components are slotted together so the pinholes in the connecting lugs line up. The components are connected using a pin and an arc clip. The end plates should be bolted together double acting hydraulic ram assembly should be pumped out to allow for ease of installation. The first part of the frame leg should be lowered onto timber skids and positioned so it is up against the sheets. Restraining chains should now be attached between the brace and the sheets. The next leg can start to be assembled in this way. Continue to do this for each leg until the frame assembly is complete. For the last leg, do not fully pump out the power pack to ensure that there is sufficient tolerance to swing the last corner into position. Once the frame is assembled, each hydraulic ram should be pumped out using the motorised pump unit. See MGF technical literature for recommended preload pressures. 400 series bracing strut components are simply bolted together. The cross strut is too long to be installed in one piece. The two parts will have to be connected within the excavation. Ensure that the joints are properly bolted together with the recommended minimum torque. End fixing details should be bolted to the strut prior to installation. cross struts, end cleats should be attached to either end of the strut using countersunk bolts. Ensure that the brace has sufficient hanging chains to take the weight of the struts. The strut location should be clearly marked and be free from obstruction. Attach the lifting chains to the strut part, adjusting the chains to take account of the heavier end. Carefully lower in place onto timber skids using a two leg chain. Ensure the end cleat sits on the brace. The second part of the strut can now be lowered onto timber skids and bolted to the other part. Pump out the hydraulic strut until it pressurises against the brace. Ensure the sheets are fully packed out to transmit strut load directly to the ground. Secure the strut to the brace using lashing chains before removing the lifting chains. MGF 400 series knee braces will normally use a 2500kN type A swivel. The complete pin swivel should be bolted to the ends that require them in the correct orientation. If brace clamps are required, then a top clamp should be loosely bolted to the upper side of the swivel, ready for landing on top of the brace. MGF knee braces must be used in conjunction with shear stops. These are usually welded to the brace, however for the 305 UC series the shear stop is integrated into the connection lugs.
Prior to installation, check that all the shear stops required by design are present. Carefully lower into position using a two-leg chain, making sure the top swivel clamp hooks over the flange of the brace and the lugs are correctly orientated. Pump out the brace so it bears onto the shear stop detail. Tighten the bolts on the top clamps. The bottom clamp can now be fitted and fully tightened. The strut can now be fully pressurised and the lifting chains can be removed. The process can now be repeated for the remaining knee braces. Following the install of the final knee brace, it is recommended that each hydraulic unit is repressurized to account for any loss in pressure. It is also recommended that the torque and all the bolts are checked and tightened if necessary. Edge safe and stair safe should be installed now. Removing edge safe as required, allowing access for plant. With the top frame installed, it is now possible to excavate to 3.3 metres below ground level to the required level of the next frame. The second frame should be assembled and installed as per the top frame. Extra care is to be taken assembling within the excavation due to the top frame. Once all corners are connected, the hydraulic rams can be pressurised against the sheets. As with the top frame, carefully lower the assembled cross strut and knee braces into position between the spaces of the upper frame. With the second frame installed, excavation can now continue to formation level at 4.7 metres below ground level. Cast a minimum 300 millimetre thick concrete base up to the face of the sheets. Once the concrete base has reached sufficient strength, the second frame can be removed. Removal of the second frame is a reverse of installation. 